The end of November is here. If you participated in raising awareness for men's health issues, then congratulations on making it through the month. Derek, I can stay. Your moustache was fabulous. My moustache. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I yes. Yeah, I like the moustache. Some yeah. of you didn't. Hey, I got some mean notes about it. So, listen, if you are thinking of shaving it all off, don't grab your clippers just yet. No, it's super do it. trendy. It is trendy. And joining us now, we have Xavier Silver and Rebecca Duarte Betancourt to help us transition our scruffy beards, goatees, or mustaches into some holiday masterpieces. They have brought with them, by the way, three very good looking models. So, uh, Xavier. <laughs> Here, show us how it's done. What is this first look? Well, what we wanted to do is we wanted to create hairstyles that would go with face shapes as well as with beard styles. So we have three different looks here. We have Zach that we created because he has a very strong uh, square jawline. We actually took his beard and we left it a little bit longer below his jaw. This will help to de-emphasize some of that strong feature, but to still keep it consistent. And it actually goes with this square hairstyle. And in doing so, we wanted to use some products on him. He's more of our business look, so okay. he is somebody that's gonna use like a lot of hair care. So we wanted him with more of a cleansing shampoo. We actually have Quench, which is leave-in conditioner that we have that he can use as a styling aid to shave his beard, as well as to leave it on his goatee. And I think that's part of it, right? Because you Correct. have to use product to, to maintain the beard and make Absolutely. it look its best. Yes, and, and one thing that people forget is that we live in this climatic, weather-changing city, and sometimes when you use a really heavy oils, at the end of the day, that can actually cause some irritation on your skin. Okay. So product-wise, that might actually work a little bit better. And Xavier, sorry to cut you off. I just have a quick question. Sure. The, uh, I I bet some guys at home are wondering this too. How do you know how far up or down to bring up the beard? Because a lot of guys, when they try to grow out a beard, suddenly they have this bush on their face. I mean, you, you gotta like maintain, shave the neck, and also shave from the top down as well, right? Correct, and depending on your facial feature, and well, once again, we went with him because his jawline is square, mm -hmm. so we went right below his neck to where Chris's is more diamond shape, and then John down there is more of an oval shape. So depending on wherever, in other words, let's say that you had a very large predominant nose, probably wouldn't want to put a beard shape right here or a mustache, because that might bring that feature out more. But on really strong cheekbones and a jawline accented around that area will make that feature pop out more and actually look really, really sexy for the okay. ladies. I like it. <laughs> ladies, I like it. All right, we're going to move on. Sure. Rebecca, uh, yeah, walk us through. Chris. Yeah, so Chris is our casual look, and he okay. has a diamond safe face. And so what we did is to keep his goatee, because his was pretty full, what we did is we took it shorter here and we kept it thicker here which on the fade is a consistent with the top. So if you look at it in the coloring, it follows a diamond it's shape. It's super cool. It's like the beard is part of his hairstyle. The Correct. fade is <laughs> on. So with your product, I mean, you're actually using a, 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 like hair care. a hair care. Yes, ma'am. I love it. Did you know that to use hair care in your beard? You probably already did. Did you know okay. that already? <laughs> I'm totally late to, to the party. To okay. Like, like you rub conditioner into your beard? Well, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Um, we yeah. use a protein conditioner on him because his beard texture is a little bit more wiry. And with protein, it tends to help with some of that bendability. And then with him as well, we add a moisturizing conditioner as far as the shampoo to help with his beard to keep it hydrated. One thing that's really cool is that we have our camo, which is a filler. And a lot of men that don't necessarily grow beards can actually put a little bit of what? this. Shut and it fill down. The end this? I love and the man this product. In what? Right into and they can add a little bit more thickness. What if you're a sweater? Hold is that gonna like? Well, because it is hair fibers, it blends in very well with his beard. So it looks very natural. Oh, my. There, it yeah, is. It's very like fiber. Cool. Yeah, it's 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 fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Xavier's holding up his hand here, and it has this dark fiber. Mm -hmm. So for men who are afraid of a thin beard, hold they your, can hold use your that. hand up. Leanne's going to grab a wow. shot. Hold it up. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's cool. People can buy that at Visible Changes. At yes. Visible Changes, mm -hmm. yes. And, and different colors. And different yes. colors to match beards and even to fill in spots on hair shapes. You too could finally. have a beard. Finally. <laughs> Me too. I was going to say, finally, product. For men, finally. I love you too. Can have a. It's terrible. I know you've always wanted one. Okay, so let's move on to John and uh, tell us about his look, Rebecca. Well, John has a more oval shaped face with a very strong jawline. So what we're gonna do is shave the sides to soften that jawline. Oh, you're gonna show us how to how to do it. Right. Goatee. All right, goatee get to it. Get to it. And what we're doing is just shaving this side, and what's gonna happen is. 
his goatee is gonna hug his chin to make him more uh, have a more sporty look. Okay, which is what he's going for. Okay, get in there. We got about a minute. Yeah. That. So what so, we're gonna do is just shave some of this off right here. An easy does it, guys, if yes. you're trying this at home. I'm sure many Remember, of us. Remember, it's oh, your see, face. there's our before. There's our before mm -hmm. photo. Yep. I always love the before, because they're always I like, know. oh, I'm I before. I, and the after and, and is you so You try pretty. to make them look as bad as possible, well, totally. honestly. Yeah, Absolutely, right. Xavier. This or what? <laughs> we're kidding, John, we're kidding. <laughs> See, I is, love this. This is such a, you know what this is? The beard is really part of the personality. You know right. we say like women's hair is part of our, per the beard is part of the, per no? You, you have that framed quote hanging on our office wall. So I'm glad you finally said Don't it on the show. The me. beard is part of the personality. You're terrible. Yes, one words to live by. One thing too, a lot of men are, have a misconception of trimming their eyebrows. They actually use trimmers on it and it's completely wrong. You will totally take out some of the density. So a really quick thing to do when you're trimming eyebrows is just to comb the hair. Comb it up above the brow yep. shape and yeah. jump right into it. Yeah, careful right. with the eyebrows, guys. Sometimes I see guys with eyebrows so sharp they could cut you just exactly. by looking at them. Um, that is a proper way to do an eyebrow. Okay, I love well, it. Rebecca is finishing up John. Uh, thanks to you all, John, Zach, Chris, Rebecca, Xavier. Thank you for yes. having Visible us. Changes. Are you at? We both work at the Visible Changes in Memorial, Memorial City. Memorial City location. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Book an appointment with them. Go see them. Yeah, and visiblechanges.com is the website in case you would all like to learn more. So thanks to all of you. That was great. Happy Thank holidays. you for having us. Happy we appreciate holidays. it. This Thank was you good. So a good men's fun. segment. I like it. <laughs> Still ahead, why not uh, be the talk of the town with an upside down Christmas tree?